Welcome to a shared service of Holden Evening Prayer at Home by musicians and pastors of seven Twin Cities ELCA churches. We extend great gratitude to Marty Haugen and to the Holden Village community for making Holden Evening Prayer available for streaming at this time when we are not able to be physically together. Tonight's service was recorded by pastors and musicians from seven ELCA Twin Cities churches, Mount Carmel of Northeast Minneapolis, First Lutheran of Columbia Heights, Gustavus Adolphus of Northeast Minneapolis, Tree of Life in the North Loop of Minneapolis, Christ Lutheran on Capitol Hill, Grace Lutheran of Northeast Minneapolis, and Bethlehem Lutheran in Midway. As we gather in our homes this evening, you are invited to make yourself comfortable and warm with a cup of hot cocoa or tea and to light a small candle nearby. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world.
my prayer rise up like incense before you, a lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. Good evening. Our reading for this evening is from Psalm 134, one of the shortest psalms in the whole Bible. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You who stand by night in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. And may the Lord, maker of heaven and earth, bless you from Zion. I need a blessing a reminder about blessing in this time of pandemic, and maybe you do too. So this psalm that has just two verses uh, includes the word bless three times. Two times we are called to bless the Lord, and one time we ask that God would bless us. What does it mean to bless the Lord? What does God need from us? Well, the simplest way I can think of to understand our blessing of the Lord is to remind ourselves that when we ask God to bless someone else, it is shorthand for take note of the neighbor's needs and meet them. Take note of the neighbor's needs and meet them. So what does God need from us? I think God needs relationships and conversation, prayer with us. God wants a relationship with us always. He created us to be in the image of God so that God could have a, a relationship of depth with us. God also wants to see us working for a better world. One person, one church, one community, one state, one nation, or one world at a time. In this pandemic, we see that there is not equal access to health care services in our country and that those who work in low-wage jobs are also often at the greatest risk of illness and exposure. For many, for many, many reasons, we do not have enough for everyone. What do we need to wake up? and bless within our neighbors. What letters do we need to write? What phone calls shall we make? How can we stand up and ask that there be protection and health care for all? Lastly, let's think about God uniquely blessing us with talents and compassion and also the resources we need to do this work. And so to bless God is to bring God's good, good news to other people through our words and our actions. 
for us to acknowledge who God is by blessing God and for the Lord to bless us. Hear these words, God must make of us what we are not and give us what we do not have. I'll say it again. God must make of us what we are not and give us what we do not have. That is the blessing I ask for you this week. That God would help you see you become something you are not already and to give you something more than what you already have. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. i
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Bless our God, praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path for all of us. Peace. Christ is with you. Thanks be to God.